we motivated our principle of conservation of energy in a volume of space. And what we did was we looked at the case where in our volume of space, we have both electric fields and magnetic fields and some charge dq. And we saw that if energy is flowing into this region of space, then the energy stored in the electric and magnetic fields, those are the energy densities, dv is one way that the energy in the space can change. And the other way is that if there's work done on the charges by the electric field. And so this integral represented the rate that work was being done, work per second on the charges in the field. Now, what is the correct vector that gives us an equality here? Well, we have to be a little bit careful because it's actually not a unique vector, but what works for us is a vector which we'll refer to as the pointing vector, that's its name, and it's given by E cross B over U naught. And this is the pointing vector. And our energy conservation principle is this has the units of energy or the dimensions of energy per second per area. That's its dimensions. And if you wanted to put this into SI units, energy, we have joules, seconds, and area, one over meter squared. And this is the correct vector that gives us energy conservation. It's not quite unique, but it's the correct vector. And so our energy conservation statement, and I will just write it out, is that the flux of the pointing vector through a closed surface represents the power that flows in or out of the closed surface. And that by conservation means that either the field energy inside that volume of space is changing in time, the minus sign because of n hat out, or that there is work done by the electric field on the charges in that volume of space, <clears throat> this is the rate of doing work, dV. And this is energy conservation in electromagnetism.